see the direction of depolarization and depolarization if we consider the whole heart actually our depolarization starts from left direction to the right direction the the direction of the depolarization is from the septum then it goes to the endocardium and then it goes to epicardium if we consider the whole heart and same for the repolarization it is just the opposite like from uh, the depolarization direction will be from the epicardium to the endocardium and then to the septum now why was i using the word whole heart for whole heart the direction of depolarization and repolarization is opposite but if we consider the single myocard individual or single myocardial cell then the direction of depolarization and repolarization is the same this is a very important point and most often mcqs are asked only the words are interchanged whole heart and individual myocardial cell so please note this point down this is very important now there is a important topic which is our ecg of the his bundle this is generally important for diagnosing our conduction block and let's see this sorry my mistake so let's see this ecg so there are generally three waves and three intervals so the waves are a wave h wave and our v wave our a wave shows the av nodal activity our h waves shows our activity of the his bundle and our v wave depicts the ventricular depolarization so we have saw the three waves which which are our a wave h wave and the v wave a wave is the activity of the av node h wave is the activity of his bundle and v wave is the activity of our ventricular depolarization now we will see the main three intervals there are three intervals which is the pa interval which shows the activity from sa node to the av node we have our a h interval which shows the activity from av node to bundle of his and we have our h v interval which shows the activity from bundle of his to the ventricular depolarization so what is the significance of the ecg we have learned the characteristics and features of the ecg but what is its clinical significance the clinical significance is that it helps in the clinical assessment of patient with variety of conditions like it helps in the detection of our heart rate heart rhythm impulse conduction and it also helps in detecting which is the main thing is the life threatening arrhythmias this point is the most significant
one. So what is arrhythmia? We all know because we have learned it earlier. Arrhythmias are nothing else, but they are the improper beating of heart, or in proper way we can say arrhythmias are improper. beating of heart in which the electrical impulses does not work properly so ecgs are important for detection of arrhythmias and for monitoring our condition or we can say the health of our heart by detecting or monitoring our heart rate impulse conduction and the rhythm of our heart as we are discussing ecg significance uh, i would like to add a point that why often the players and the athletes are more prone to the cardiac diseases and what is the significance of ecg in monitoring and to some extent restricting this or controlling this heart diseases so to all who don't know him he is doni he is uh, was a former goalkeeper of liverpool football club and most of the people following football will know him uh during the year 2011 no 12 i guess yeah 2012 summer time uh as all all of you know that football players undergoes uh medical checkups and at that time during a medical checkup he was he faced an cardiac arrest and that cardiac arrest was way too long like about 0.25 seconds even the medical team was a bit surprising because uh, but still uh, by god's grace he again returned back and now let's see like what are the main causes why like uh, the athletes and sports person are the most f- uh, fitness are more con- conscious with fitness and their health so why are they more prone to cardiac diseases or heart diseases see during the exercise the adrenaline changes in the electrolyte is the main factor which is very harmful for our heart and even even the players are more like conscious about their health so the endurance factor and the and the fact that the players often try to do exercise m- more strenuous in a short period of time so that's 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 really harmful for the heart and our h- heart couldn't there are the more prone to uh, prone of having cardiac arrest because of the strenuous exercises and training they they perform during a short period of time and that exhaust the ha- the exhaust the heart and that's why the ecg monitoring ecg monitoring is very significant for players and athletes because because they they of they are always undergoing heavy strain uh, strenuous activities and are engaged in various like most often it is now in recent studies it is said that continuous exercise for about 3 to 4 hours can damage our heart and various cad like the coronary artery disease and the plaques 
are more oftenly affecting the sports person so yeah to sum up in ecg ecg is very significant in monitor monitoring the heart rhythm conduction impulse or any kind of underlying heart diseases we are having so yeah uh, that's for today thank you and have a nice day uh, if you like this video please subscribe and put a thumbs up so signing off for today